Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Children's Worship and Wonder. On this Sunday, December 20th, the fourth Sunday of Advent. I'm Miss Lori, and I'll be your story teller today. And once again, we're telling the story out of our young children in worship book. And this is the fourth Advent, fourth Sunday in Advent, so it is our fourth story of Advent. So we will get ready to tell our story. First, let's say the greeting. I'll say, the Lord be with you. And you say, and also with you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. So this is the season of Advent, the time we are getting ready to celebrate the mystery of Christmas. And it's the time we are all on the way to Bethlehem. But who will show us the way? The prophets. The prophets listen to God so they can show us the way. Isaiah was a prophet. And he listened and spoke the word of God. He said one day the Messiah would be born. The Messiah would be like a light shining in darkness. This is what Isaiah said. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. This is the candle of the prophets. It reminds us that prophets, like Isaiah, listen to God so they can show us the way to Bethlehem. Let us enjoy the light of the prophets. Now Mary and Joseph are on the way to Bethlehem. They can show us the way. They have a secret. An angel came to them and said, Do not be afraid. Be joyful. You will have God's special son. You will name him Jesus. So here is Mary, Joseph, and the donkey. And they are on their way to Bethlehem. And this is where Jesus will be born. This is the candle of the Holy Family. It reminds us not to be afraid, but be joyful on the way to Bethlehem. Let us enjoy the light of the Holy Family. shepherds are on their way to Bethlehem too. They can show us the way. They have good news too. An angel came to them and said, do not be afraid, be joyful. Today a Savior, God's special son, is born in Bethlehem. You will find him lying in a manger. Here's the shepherd and his sheep. And they are on their way to Bethlehem to speak, see the special child who was born. This is the candle of the shepherds. It reminds us of the good news. A savior, a special son of God, is born. Let us enjoy the light of the shepherds. The 
the Magi on their way to Bethlehem. They can show us the way. The Magi saw a special star in the sky, a star for a king. They followed the star to Bethlehem, bringing gifts for the newborn king of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Here are the Magi. and their camel. This is the candle of the Magi. It reminds us of gifts, of God's gift, of Christ, the newborn King. Let us enjoy the light of the Magi. Now I will change the lights. The light of the prophets. The light of the Holy Family. The light of the shepherds. And the light of the Magi. And they can be with us always in many ways and in many places all through the year. Now, I wonder how the Magi felt when they saw the special star for a king. I wonder how they knew that star was special and just different from all the others. I wonder if it was hard for them to find the special king. I wonder why the Magi brought gifts. And I wonder what it was like to be a baby and a king. Now I'll read the story out of the Bible. It is in Matthew, chapter 2, verse 1 through 12. The visit of the wise men. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born at Bethlehem of Judea, Wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them, where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Thank you for joining me today for this story. I will see you all next week with the continuation of the story when we hear about Christ's birth, Christ the child is born. May you have a wonderful afternoon and go in peace.